Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you a video today. I'm going to be talking about the new Team of the Week and the primetime cards as well as going over the hut challenges and why you should do them and you can get free gold collectibles from doing these hut challenges. So guys, let's go ahead. Let's get straight into it. So basically, you're like, Mr. Yo-Yo, what are you talking about with these hot challenges? Well, essentially, there are 20 weekday challenges in all of the events. And if you complete all 20 of these challenges, you will be able to redeem a free gold collectible as well as a free 86 and also a free prime pack, which I ended up actually pulling an icon collectible out of, which is insane. But essentially, I'm going to I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So if you go to the winter national set, you go to the way end here. As you can see, you can go to challenge rewards. Now, there are three options. If you want to get a base pack in an, in, in an untradeable 84 overall winter national player, go and exchange five of the winter national collectibles that you do get from the hut challenges. And then if you want a premium pack in an 85 overall, you exchange 14. And then if you exchange 20, you get a gold collectible, a prime pack, and also your choice of one of five 86 overall winter national players. Now, out of my prime pack, guys, I did pull an icon collectible which is huge now i might use that on an 85 overall i might honestly because really looking at it here i kind of want to get an 85 i'm not gonna lie i do want to kind of test my luck and as you can see only have one icon collectible and i got it for free so i'll get another player for free i got really lucky out of my pack though but anyway back on topic here basically you do get a free gold collectible which is huge that's like a free 50k now granted you cannot sell it but you could put it in a pack to get a or you could put it in a set excuse me to get a choice pack where you can choose at one of three of the current event players so i'm not going to do it for the winter national players but i am going to do it for the new event which is coming out tomorrow i will turn it in and i will be able to redeem myself a free uh, free choice pack well i won't be able to do it tomorrow but i will be able to do it probably next week i will be able to get myself a free choice pack and a free player which is amazing now i am i am actually gonna open my admin calendar pack i swear if this is a gold collectible that's gonna be insane let me see it's a silver collectible and it's a coach yep i mean it's sp but still you know not great for you know but it's it's yeah it's just not great but anyway moving back on here essentially it's really really good and you can you should do your hot challenges now what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna be do i'm gonna be opening up a uh icon pack so i have an 85 i have one icon collectible gonna be getting an 85 overall here hopefully we get something good i'm opening for this for you guys on video hopefully we get a guy with pretty good speed and if we don't i'll just take honestly the best guy that's available so here we go and we do get okay that should have been from a choice of two we should get three or four players and there we go so we do get four so first one is going to be 85 overall ken dieco now i actually do have his card as a loan card this is not great but it's a decent card too slow though next card here 85 mike richter already have him now here we go next card we do get a walkout on this one or a moving one three stanley cups Let's see what else. One Hart Memorial Trophy from the Red Wings. Three All-Star Games. Sit Abel. That's not good. Sit Abel is not good. Last card. 85 overall Tim Horton. So, not great. I mean, it's just, it's not, it's not amazing. Mike Richter, already have him. So, I think with this choice, I think I'm going to go with Ken, D D I don't know how to say his name. Danico. Oh yeah, Ken Danico. There you go. So I'm going to go with him. He is going to be my free icon player. I'm going to go with him. And yeah, so that's, I mean, that's not that bad. Now, granted, I wish I had got some, gotten some with like 90 speed, but you know what? You can't ask for everything. So we're going to go, we're going to put him in the squad. Now I think he's going to be, is he a lefty or is he a righty? Because I think Darnell Nurse is the only lefty I have on my defense. So let's see, Ken Danico, is he, oh, Oh, no, no, never mind. It's a loan. So, Ken Danico is a lefty. So, that works perfectly. So, he is going to go in here. He is going to be on the front line. Taking a look. No synergies activated. He does, you know, not really have the best synergies. But, you know, it's okay. So, we're going to save the changes to the squad. And we are going to be selling Darnell Nurse. Now, I've had this card for like 20-something games. So, this is actually kind of emotional getting rid of this card. Because I've had him for so long. But And also, I did end up picking from the 86 choice pack. You got a choice of, of, of I believe, in 86, Edward Vlasic, I believe, was one of the cards. There was, uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you one. But let me just go to the Heavy Hitters collection. 
and let me go and sell this Darnell Nurse. So he looks like I'm hoping seventeen thousand, probably not thirteen thousand. Yeah, thirteen. So we're gonna we're gonna list them for like twelve five. So let's go and do that. Twelve five is not bad, and we will be at hundred and fifty thousand. And once I get to two hundred K, guys. We will do a spending spree. Yes, that's right. We will do a spending spree once we do get to 200k. And yeah, unless I, you know, do don't spend it all, which I, which I probably won't. Yeah, you never know. So there you go, 12,500. He is listed on the market. And yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna be showing you guys the choice cards that you did get if you did the all the hut challenges. I will be showing you all the cards that you possibly could have gotten out of the choice pack. And you know, I went with Marcel Gock who is arguably the best one, but we're going to take a look here. So the first card, let me, I just got to remember here. I just got to do, do a quick refresher here. So the first card was not Mark Shum. So the first card is going to be McCall Granlund. Now he's a center. He's small. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. He's a center. He's small and he cannot win faceoffs. So I didn't really go with him, but he'd be a good winger, but I just, I just don't think he was that good. Next card you got was an 86 overall, Mark Edward Vlasic. Does have 93 speed. He's 6'1", 205. So he's got somewhat of a big body, but his shot is just way too all over the place. Also, he does not have a good body checking, checking statistic. So that's why I did not go with him. Moving on here, the next option you got was an 86 Louis Erickson. 6'2", 179 is not bad. He's got 94 speed, 93 balance is pretty good, but puck control is not great. Also, you know, he doesn't really have the stick checking, so I didn't go with him. Next, we do have the 86 Ryan Kessler. Now, the big thing about this card is that he has 94 speed, 94 balance, as well as 96 faceoff. But the thing that really got me, puck control isn't that great, and also... He is not Marcel Gok, because if you take a look, I just completely messed up there, but Marcel Gok, if you take a look, he's got 99 speed. I don't need to say more. He has 99 speed, acceleration, and agility, 96 balance. Now, his shot is a bit all over the place, but 95 faceoffs compared with 96 speed, that is just madness. Like, that is absolutely insane. So, I ended up going with Marcel Gok as my choice player, and he is currently my third line center. So... Now we are going to get to the new prime cards, prime, prime time cards as well as the new team of the week. So the big prime time card was the 92 overall Artemi Panarin. So I am going to quickly showcase this card. And I've heard his 90 is really good. So this card is going to be an absolute beast to play with. So taking a look at the Rangers, that's not his 92. Let me actually look in prime time just to kind of narrow it down a little bit. So... There you go, 92 overall, or Tammy Panarin. He's got 99 speed, obviously, acceleration and agility. 90 balance is pretty good. Very good shot. 94 accuracy on the wrister, 93 on the slap shot, 90 and 91 for the power. 96 deking, 96 puck control is incredible. Stick checking is really good at 91. Offensive and defensive awarenesses are also really good. So this card is just an absolute beast. Now, granted, he's going to be a good amount of coin. I mean, he's going to be a lot of coins. You take a look, one up for 500K. He's going to be a good amount of coin, but I think he's worth it, man. If you can get this card for 200k, he is worth it because he is just amazing. And then also, we ended up getting, let's go over the team of the week, and we got a big card here in terms of David Pasternak, a.k.a. Pasta, and this card's just absolutely phenomenal. So, we're going to find Pasternak, and he's actually not even here. I think he's a right winger. Yes, I am correct. So I don't think his card is actually up on the auction house. I don't. I think he has a 93. It's not even up. But we're just going to go in the collection and we're going to showcase it really quickly. From the Boston Bruins, we're just going to go over this card. And I really do like Pasternak cards. I really do want to try one out, like a really good one, like a 90 plus. But take you a look, 93 Pasternak. Obviously, he does have the 99 skating, 99 speed acceleration and agility, 95 balance, 6 foot and 194 is not bad for a winger. He's got very, very good shots. He's got a very good accuracy on his shot, 95, 94, and then 90 power is pretty solid. 96 deking, 95 ball control is really good, 90 stick checking. He's got very good awarenesses at 94, 91. Overall, this card is just flat out insane. He's a great card. And if you do have the coins, I mean, just pick them up. I mean, it's pasta, you know? Who doesn't like some pasta? But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like, stretch miss five likes. Thank you so much for watching. But most importantly, stay classy. Survivor.